Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna learn how to fly a drone for the first time. It doesn't matter if you start with the small one like the DJI Mini or the bigger one, the DJI Mavic 3, or even if you start with the FPV. But when I say the FPV, we're talking about the normal mode, not manual, okay? So this video is pretty much showing basics of all the controllers for somebody that barely getting out of the box, thinking about getting one, or you just got it, have it in your hand and you want to watch a quick tutorial of how to start so you won't crash your drone. Before we start, we actually had to do a quick checklist, especially for the uh, beginners that doesn't know anything about the drones. Um, so let's go ahead and let's start with that. One of the things that we want to do first before we even start, before we even turn on the, the drone, is that you want to make sure that you open it and make sure to take off the cover of the... Uh, of the drone because whenever it turns on the gimbal starts going on um, back and forward because it needs to like calibrate itself so if you do that if you don't take it off it's pretty much putting a lot of pressure into the motors and over time you might end up burning maybe the first couple of times it might not do anything to it but to prevent any damage to the drone you want to make sure that you you take it off also um Whenever you turn on the drone, obviously it won't it won't spin. But once you put it, when you turn it on and you spin it and you put it down, uh, ready to take off, make sure that you um, unfold the the propellers. Um, it doesn't really do damage to the propellers to the motors if you have it closed. But I do notice that it does vibrate a little bit. So it might, over time, you might put some little bit of pressure in there. And also the app, whenever you open it, it tells you to do a checklist and to make sure that you open the propellers. So I'm sure it does, it's, if it does tell you, it's for the reason. Another thing that we're going to do before we actually start flying is we're going to check for any updates. Because the update is going to make it better. It might have some of the features that you wanted to see. So make sure to update it. Now that you have to go off everything, we're going to turn on the drone. DJI drones, you usually press it once, then press it again and hold it. And you will see the lights going uh, on and so you can see it does move the gimbal that's why i told you it's really important to take off the the cover of it because it, it does mess it around um it does move it and you might end up messing with the motors so now we're going to put it here like i said we're going to um extend the propellers they don't have to be like perfect perfect it's fine if it is a little bit not perfect I know this is not recommended to fly indoors, but I have a good decent space to do this. So we're gonna do it here and it's raining outside. So we're gonna have to do it here inside for this tutorial, but do it on your own risk. You shouldn't be flying indoors. Uh, now the DJI's drones, the newer ones, they're really good at flying indoors. You shouldn't be doing it, but they're really good at flying indoors. They have sensors. The Mavic, the Mini 2, it does have, um, uh, proximity sensors on the bottom so it's not too bad flying it the Mavic 3 it has sensors all around it's a, it's a really great drone flying it indoors now that we have entered into the DJI app you want to go it usually tells you right away here on the corner that you have an update as you can see uh, fly safe requirements update I won't do right, that right now but it's something that it tells you in the same spot so there is two ways to take off. One of the ways that you can take off is by either pressing here when it says on. Um, you see it says it's gonna take off. So you're gonna hold it and you're gonna turn on the, the engine and the automatic is gonna take off. Now another way that we can take off, which is my favorite because like, I don't know if you can see on the video, but when I press to take off automatically, it shoot up in the air. And especially right now that we're indoor, it almost hit the ceiling. So you have to be careful with that one. I, honestly, I thought it was gonna hit it. Um, so be really careful with that one. So the way I prefer to do it, and the way I always do it, is I put in both of the stick in, and then it turns on the motors, but it won't do anything. So it's pretty much like idling. So now I can control how far up I want to go, especially like I said, if, especially if you're indoors, 
you want to make sure that you're taking control of it, not the drone yourself. If it was in Mavic 3, I would be more comfortable doing it, not hitting the top or anything like that. But here, because we this one doesn't have sensors on the top, we have to be more careful with it. So now to take off, all we have to do is move the left stick. So the left stick controls your altitude. It goes up to go higher and down to go down. And then the this one, left and right, controls your jaw. So pretty much if the drone would be like this, it controls the camera where it goes. Well, not the camera, the drone itself. It's going to move either like that or like that. So then this, the right stage is to go forward, backwards, and then the drone to move this way. If you push it left and then the drone to go right, you push it this way. So I'm about to show you right now how that looks. So right now we're gonna take off. So we're gonna put the stick a little bit to give it some speed. And you see, um, I barely stuck it a little bit and it lift up. So once you have it in the air, you want the drone facing away from you because if you flip the drone facing towards you the controls are totally opposite so you don't want that especially when you first starting you want to make sure that you facing the drone is facing against you um, like you can see I'm behind the camera uh, and the drone is not facing me it's the, the back is facing me um, so right now we're gonna show you how this the controller works so like I said, uh, this one, if I turn it to the left, the camera is going to turn to the left. Let me lower it down. So you can see it better on the camera. So if I move it to the left, like I said, the drone is going to spin. What they call it, the jaw. As you can see, the drone is spinning. I'm doing slow movements because I'm indoors and I don't want to crash or hit anything. I don't want to break anything. So as you can see, I do it like a quick 360. The same way if I do it to the other side, it's going to go like that. The drone is staying in the same place because all you're doing is pretty much rotating the drone. You're not doing anything. So right now I'm pushing that way. Uh, no, it doesn't. You cannot see it that much on the, uh, on the video. But if I'm gonna go faster, I'm obviously I'm gonna push it more. Right now it's moving a lot more, or moving faster. So as you can see, it's moving. Uh, now, if I want to control my altitude, like I said, this is up, this is down. Now, if I wanna go forward, what I would do is go this one, but remember, you gotta do it slowly because this drone, they're moving fast, especially if you're doing something indoor. So right now, I'm moving that way. So as you can see, move it up, forward. Now I'm gonna move backwards again. I'm, we're gonna go this way, push it that way. Now if I want to do, I want to move it to the left, I'm gonna go that way. But remember the controllers are the same because I'm facing, the drone is not facing me, it's facing away from me. So the drone is facing the same way I'm facing, facing pretty much. Uh, so now I'm gonna go to the left. You can see the drone moves. Now I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna push that way. The drone moves. Now I want to show you what, what happened when the drone is facing towards me. So now you can see the drone is facing me. So now the controllers are, are the opposite. So right now, as you can see, if I press up and down, that's still the same. But when I'm, when the dot change the duration, whenever I want to show, change the the jaw so if I want to rotate the drone if I press left the drone is gonna rotate right if I press right the drone is gonna rotate right so there's not really a big problem that you won't hit anything because it's pretty much the drone is staying, staying on the same spot but the problem happens that a lot of beginners do especially uh, I've seen a lot of crashes that it happens is that they forget that once he's facing you is the opposite and one of the ways that I've seen that happening is that whenever they press forward, they used to be drawn going away from you. But now because it's facing you, obviously that is going to come towards you. So now if I press forward, the drone is going to come towards me, not away from me. So as you can see, I press forward, the drone comes over me. Now if I press backwards, the drone goes away from me. But if it's facing the other way, it's the opposite. So keep that in mind. 
that are the opposite, especially when you turn to left and right. Uh, well, backwards and forward is a little bit more, it's not that complicated. I would say that it, people, if you miss back and forward is, um, I don't know, it's like a little bit more hard to miss, but you definitely can miss because I had done it a couple of times uh, close to crashing because I forget that left is right and right is left. So as you can see here, if I press left, the drone is going to the right. And if I press right, the drone is going toward to the left. Now, if you want to record, you have you can either press either this one, you can press it here, or you can press it here on the controller, or you can press it here on the controller. It can either take picture or, or, or video. So I can start it here, recording here. I press that one and start recording itself. Now, to take a picture, you have to stop recording. And if your controller have this icon here, this bottom here, you can press that one and it's gonna change the picture. Or if not, you can go ahead and press here on the top and it's gonna let you select the modes that it has, like quick shots, uh, some of them that have like time lapse and all that is gonna be here on that icon. So it's gonna be based on your drone. So now to change it to video, you press here and change the video, photo, quick shots, it does have to be in the air, panel, you have to be in the air and other options um, that you can wanna do. Here you can choose uh, your settings too. So this is pretty much all the basics of how to fly a drone. If this video helped you out, make sure to like it. If you have any questions, I will help you out on the comments. If not, I can even make you other video about your questions. So I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.